When Adam and I started Reciprocity, we were looking for keys. We were looking for ways to unlock the potential of the youth in our programs. And our intuition told us that retreat, being able to take the youth into nature, exposing the trees and water and silence, that that was going to be a really important key and that it would unlock a lot of doors for the youth. Retreat has been a really important part of my life. So when we were planning this retreat, I, I wanted the youth to have everything. I wanted them to try the yoga and the meditation. I wanted them to receive healing treatments. What happens on retreat is often quite profound and magical. The warrior of light does not worry that to others his behavior might seem quite mad. He talks loud to himself when he is alone. Someone told him that this is the best way of communicating with the angels. And so he takes a chance and tries to make contact. At first he finds it very difficult. Even so, the warrior persists. He spends all day talking to his heart. One day he notices a change in his voice. He realizes he is acting as a channel for some higher wisdom. The warrior may seem mad, but it's just a disguise. The Dharma Drum Retreat Center was established in 1997 and it was founded by our teacher, Chan Master Sheng Yin. I came here and I saw stars and I see trees and birds, deer, foxes. If you really think about like how beautiful the environment is and what we've been gifted with. I was just, you know, happy to see them and just couldn't close my mouth. <laughs> I came out here and I, I said, let me meditate and see what comes to me. And it was this rush, this, this, just this, this rush of emotion, of happiness. Of, and, and it almost inspired me to cry, you know what I mean? And it was happiness and positivity. And it was just, once I was able to get the, the noise out of my head, just this rush hit me. So on the first day, the youth seemed to be resisting the experience. By the second day, though, things started to change. The youth started to really transform. They became softer and, and gentler and sweeter. That There was so much inside them that started to come out that I'd never seen before. And, and to, to be there, to bear witness to it, was so extraordinary, it was so beautiful and I felt so lucky to be able to see what I was seeing. To see them just relax and embrace a new environment, a completely new lifestyle, and become just children again and just play, I think it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I feel so spiritual, I feel like I'm gonna like sit up and levitate. <laughs> it's like I almost rejuvenated my, my heart to love again, you know? Because sometimes, you know, there's a lot of poison out there that could take us to more of a dark place. I'm used to a lot of unhealthy situations, a lot of negativity. I just let go of any sad feelings, any harmful feelings. I just became whole of myself. And I just let this whole experience sit in. And I just took every moment in, into consideration. This is a whole new life for me. I found that these kids, the kind of background that they come from, I think they're forced to grow up too quickly, that they forget their childhood. And they think of all this, their weaknesses and what they can't do and what they cannot be. And that can be crippling at times. So when, when I see them coming here 
and feeling very safe and opening up, I see extraordinary people. meditated with nature and we was like one with nature and I kind of really felt at home when we learned the little method and stuff and it's basically like clearing and like cleansing it's like cleansing your soul in a way and you cry to mother nature and like giving your energy out to that to like the rock the trees and stuff it's it's like taking a ton of bricks off your shoulder in a way I thought that the most important thing that happened on retreat was that so many youth were profoundly affected by what happened. Saying, let's start a movement, let's, let's start a revolution, let's, let's take the contemplative practices that have, that have been taught to us and, and, and pass them on to other youth. The fact that that's what the youth wanted to do at the end of the retreat, that was extraordinary. That's what really, really profoundly touched me about the youth who were, who were with us on retreat. Now, reciprocity, it's like, you know, we, we take in, you know, like taking somebody that has a broken heart and building them up to the stage, transform from into a spiritual warrior where he can actually be of use in his community to other people and build them up at the same time. This is, this is a powerful movement. If y'all ready for change, then Y'all should jump on this ship, you know, it's going to get real serious. You know, our plans is to one day have a reciprocity in, in every neighborhood that needs it.